In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use GIMP to put your photographs on a film strip like you see here. Let's start by opening our images. So go over to the File menu and select Open as Layers. And then select the pictures that you want to add. And you can hold down the Control key to select multiple pictures. And then press the Open button. Now let's add the photos to our film strip. So go over to the Filters menu and select Combine and Film Strip. I'm going to use all of the default settings, so I just need to press OK. And here's my basic film strip. And GIMP put this film strip into a different project, and you can see that by this tab right here. So if we go back to our original project, we have our four pictures here that we imported. And so we don't need any of these anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And next we're going to create a new layer. And so we can do that by pressing this button right here. And then make this layer 2000 pixels by 2000. And set the layer fill type to transparency. And then we want to increase our canvas size to this new layer size. So you can go up to the image menu and select Fit Canvas to Layers. And then to display the whole layer, go up to the View menu and select Zoom and Fit Image and Window. And now let's reposition our film strip. So click on the bottom layer to select it. And then select the Move tool and then move this down and position it a little above center and also a little bit to the right side. And now let's zoom in on this film strip and you can use the zoom tool right here. Just drag a selection around the edge of this and then it'll zoom in. Right now all of the holes in this film are colored in as white and we want to make them transparent so we want to cut out this white area. So to do that, first right click on this layer and select Add Alpha Channel. And that will allow us to make part of this transparent. And now click on the Select by Color tool and then click the white area inside of one of these holes. And this will select all of the white area within this image. And then select the Eraser tool and choose a hard brush I'm going to use Hardness 100 and then set the brush size to about 40. And then position the brush over the first hole and click and release the mouse button. And then hold down the Shift key and drag this over to the other side and then click on it again. And that will erase everything between the first point and the last point that you clicked on. And then so we'll do the same thing on the bottom here. So I'll just click on this first one, and then I'll hold the shift key, and then click on the last one. And now you can remove the selection by going to the select menu and select none. And now we're going to stretch this first photograph. And the reason that we're doing this is later on we're going to be deforming the shape of this film strip. And when we do that, it's going to stretch out this first image vertically. And so we want to stretch this out horizontally now so that we can keep the proportions looking good. So I'll first merge these two layers together. So I'll right click on the top layer and select Merge Down. And then I'll move this over a little bit to give myself some room to work. And then go up and select the Rectangular Select tool and then select just this first photograph. And you can go right up to the border between the first and the second photograph. And then select the Scale tool, and then click in the center of the image, and then you want to scale this up until it's a little bit larger than twice its original size. And then also grab the right side 
and move it over just a little bit to the right. And the reason that we're doing this is if you don't pull the right side over a little bit, sometimes it will leave a vertical stripe. So now you can press the scale button. And our new stretch photo has been placed on a floating selection. So we need to anchor that. So you can do this by pressing the anchor button right here. And then next, zoom out so that you can see the entire film strip. And now we're going to duplicate this film strip, turn it upside down and place it below this one. So click on the rectangle select tool again and select this entire film strip. And then to duplicate it, go to the Edit menu and select Copy, and then the Edit menu and select Paste. And now we're going to flip the copy upside down. So go over here and select the Flip tool, and then make sure it's set to Vertical, and then click on this image. And now let's move it down. So select the Move tool, and then drag this image down. And if you hold the control key while you're dragging, it'll drag it straight down. And then position it where it's just under this top one, and you can leave a very small space between the two. And then come up here and set the opacity to about 35. And this is on a floating layer, so we need to anchor it. So press the anchor button. And now we've got our film strip along with our reflection on the bottom. And now we're going to reshape this film strip. So click on the rectangle select tool again. And this time select both the top and the bottom film strips. And then go up to the filters menu and select distorts and curve bend. And for this filter, you can click on Automatic Preview here so we can see the changes that we're making within this window here. Okay, we're going to start with the Curve for Border set to Upper. And this is going to adjust the top side of this selection that we've made. So drag this first circle that you see here up until it intersects with this first line. And then grab the line right here in the center of these two vertical lines and then pull it up a little bit. And I'm pulling this up until this line right here is horizontal. And then grab the line again right here and pull this down. And you want to pull this down until this line right here is horizontal. And that will set the shape for the top of our film strip. And so now to set the bottom, click on Lower under Curve for Border. And then this first circle here Pull it all the way down to the bottom. And then grab the line right here and then pull this down. And again, we're pulling it down until the line here on the left is horizontal. And then grab the line again right here and pull this one up. And then press OK. When this filter is done, it'll place the result on a floating layer. So this time, right-click on the floating layer and select To New Layer. So now we just place this reshaped film strip on a new layer. So we don't need this bottom layer anymore, so you can go ahead and select it and click on the trash can here to delete it. And now let's zoom out. So you can do that by going to the View menu and select Zoom and Fit Image in Window. And now let's add a background. So let's create a new layer by pressing this button right here. Make sure that the layer fill type is set to transparency and press OK. And then make sure that this new layer is selected. And then select the Blend tool. And we're going to add a gradient. So make sure that the gradient type is set to FG to BG, which is foreground to background and that the shape is set to linear. And then I want my foreground to be set to white and my background to be set to black. So I just need to click this double arrow here to swap these two. And now I can come over here 
And then starting at the intersection of these two film strips right here, I'm just going to press and hold the mouse button and drag it straight up. And then I release the mouse button when I get to the top. And so I've drawn my gradient, and now I want to move this layer down to the bottom. So I can do that by using this green down arrow. And now I want this bottom reflected film strip to fade off until it's transparent down at the bottom. And so I can do that by adding a layer mask. So I need to make sure that the top layer is selected, and then right click and select Add Layer Mask. And then here make sure that you have white selected for the initial layer mask. And then press the Add button. And you'll notice over here on the layers that it added an extra square off to the right. So this extra square is my layer mask. If you click on the image to the left, you'll see it's outlined with a white square. And what that means is that any work that I do to this image will be applied to the image itself. But if I click on the right side, now anything that I do will be applied to the layer mask. And what the layer mask does is it allows me to make part of this image transparent. So anywhere that the layer mask is white, the image will be completely opaque. But any place that the layer mask is black, the image will be completely transparent. And then so shades of gray give me partial transparency. So all I need to do is to make sure that I have this right side click so that I have my layer mask enabled. Then I'm going to use the blend tool to create a gradient. And so I'll start the gradient right here and I'll drag down kind of at an angle about to this spot right here and then release the mouse button. And if you look over here on the layer, you can see the gradient that we applied to the layer mask right here. And then on our actual image, it allowed us to make part of this transparent down here at the bottom. So now we can merge these two layers together. So right click on the top layer and select Merge Down. And then the final thing that we'll want to do is to crop our image. So you can do that by selecting the Crop tool, and then select the portion of the image that you want to keep. So I'm going to crop it about right here. And then when you have your selection made, just press Enter on the keyboard. And then we can rescale this again. So go to the View menu, select Zoom, and Fit Image in Window. And now we have our completed image. And you'll notice that the proportions on this first image here look right because you'll remember that we stretch this horizontally before we deform the film strip. Well, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.